Hello, it's Yitta, and today I thought I would share with you a revision day, like how I schedule a revision day, um, because after the East holidays, which I'm currently on, we have, at least in my school, I have loads of exams which will go towards my final GCSE grade. Those are the last exams I will do, so they're quite important. So obviously I have to revise over the Easter, um, so I thought I would share with you today, which I'm doing like quite an intense revision day and then I'd also share tomorrow where I'm doing um a lot less work and it's kind of my break refresh day if that makes sense um just because I really want to share the balance because I feel like otherwise I'm only ever sharing and sharing the kind of super productive sides of my life instead of when I'm not working as well so um, I'm, I'm also going to share my timetable for the Easter holidays and how I created that um, later in the video. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So for breakfast I made this oat cake thing the night before and ate that um, which was very delicious but after I kind of got ready for the day I did an hour of history revision. I made a few flashcards on some specific key events which I really needed to remember but generally just did recap work. Then I had a quick 15 minute break and while I did this I just went to talk to my family and relaxed and then I did another hour of revision, this time I was doing some English work, I was annotating two poems just to refresh my knowledge of them in preparation for the exam. I just wanted to quickly read this poem because I just love it so much. I didn't used to love it when we first read it in year 10. I really didn't like this poem, um, but actually after reading it now, I really like it. Spring and Fall by Jared Hopkins. Margaret, are you grieving over golden grove on leaving? Leaves like the things of man you with your fresh thoughts care for, can you? Ah. Uh, as a heart grows older, it will come to such sights colder, by and by, nor spare a sigh, through worlds of one would leaf meal lie, and yet you will weep, and know why. Now, no matter child the name, sorrow springs are the same, nor mouth had, nor mind expressed, what heart heard of ghost guessed. It is the blight man you were born for, it is Margaret you mourn for. So at 12.15 I will go and eat lunch and then I will read for probably about an hour and today I also went on a walk so yeah it was really nice but I do really like to give myself a nice long break for lunch because I tend not to be super focused in the afternoon kind of midday so um, I like to start work a little bit later. From 3 till 4 I did some physics revision on Seneca Learn. I think I was doing acceleration and velocity time graphs and also some forces in motion. Mm -hmm. 
From then until about dinner time, I did some stretching and yoga and gymnastics. Um, basically just exercise to get me moving, but that I really enjoy. Over the first lockdown, I did a lot of gymnastics and learned some really cool skills that I've kind of lost. So I'm trying to work my way back up to that and also just improve my flexibility. This day I only did half an hour of some maths practice, um, normally I would probably do an hour but I was just really tired this day and decided not to push it. Now on to the next day, the first thing I did was read for about an hour and a half in the morning while I was eating breakfast and doing other things. Then I had a piano lesson which also took about an hour um, and then we had lunch so I did not get to starting any revision or doing much until midday. So at two o'clock I started doing some maths revision for an hour. I was practicing simultaneous equations just to make sure that I fully understood them because sometimes I get a bit confused with these. Then I was making some bookmarks, so I was just designing them on Canva and then I printed them out onto some card paper but I was enjoying myself way too much doing this. Kind of pointless but at the same time I desperately needed some new bookmarks and also it's a really great way to spend a break so I do not regret this in the slightest. <laughs> After that I did more and more reading and just some other random admin bits, um, also did some editing and yeah, that was my day. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly jump in to basically explain how I made my revision timetable for the Easter holidays. Um, I was going to make a whole video on this but then I kind of realised that I just didn't have enough to say for a whole video so I thought I'd just put it into this one. So this is my timetable, if you can see. Um, I've just put the subjects at the top. So I've put English, history, science, and maths. So for chemistry and physics and maths, those are the three grades that I kind of need to improve. Those are the three that I got sixes in and then everything else was um, an eight or a nine in my mocks at least. So obviously, those three subjects are what I want to improve and get better at so I want to focus on that and then English and history are my A-level choices so I want to make sure that I'm doing revision for that too. Yeah I've written each day down here and as you can see there is no times. I don't want to make a timetable that says you know like from 9 to 10 do maths because sometimes you're just not in the mood for a certain thing and I think it's best to just do what you feel on the day and create like a short timetable um, or like a to-do list um, on the day that you're going to do the work. I think that's um, a little bit more sustainable in my opinion. 
But the way that I did the timetable is the first thing I did was I wrote down which exams I have and which topics will be in those tests. So for quite a few of my subjects, they've given us specific topics. That is a bit different to previous years, but that's just because they cancelled the exam. So everything's a bit different. Once you have the specific topics that you want to revise, you can see how much stuff you have to do and how much time you have and put those things together. So for example, being quite specific. So for maths on Wednesday the 7th, I wanted to do simultaneous equations. That That's really specific and so really doable. Um, or for English, I've said um, analyse spring and fall and my first week. So again, that's really specific. Instead of just saying revise maths or revise history, I've kind of sectioned it out into really specific things. This just means that your revision will be effective and that you make sure that you are actually get, getting through everything essentially. The last thing that I want to say is probably the most important thing and that is make sure that you schedule breaks. So for example, as you can see, I have um, two days of quite more intense revision and then one day kind of um, last things to do, three days of more intense revision and then one day of like a rest. So um, make sure that you're having off days because otherwise you will burn out and that's the last thing that you want to happen. Um, to... Why can I not speak today? One thing that I would say though is I recently have not been doing as much revision as in as many hours as I used to do and have done in the past. Um, I've really only been doing about maybe three, four, five hours of revision on like an intense day. Um, and yeah, that's basically been my average, like three hours, four hours of revision in a day. Um, and the reason, I mean, for some people, this might be a lot, or a little I really I can't say for everyone but the reason why this is less than like normally for my mocks for example I work myself to exhaustion um and I just I'm kind of trying to just prioritize um this sounds really I don't know I'm trying to prioritize my mental health and I'm trying to prioritize my enjoyment of life over stressing myself up for exams it's not that I'm putting exams aside because exams are really important especially now because these are my last assessments before my final grades like this is it um but I'm just focusing instead on doing really focused specific revisions so if I have an hour for maths I will just make sure I'm super focused and if I am losing focus I will just leave it come back to it later I would rather just do super super efficient revision in a really short time and spending loads of time and then actually not being that effective if that makes sense um and i'm giving myself a lot of time for for just reading and doing things that i enjoy so that when i actually sit down at my desk i am super super relaxed and refreshed and the work i do is actually effective if that makes sense i feel like i've talked for so long but yeah, basically make a revision timetable that works for you and do not make yourself work for hours and hours and hours if it's not going to be effective. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. I did not completely close the camera, so I'm just going to do that one more time. Bye.